Good morning everyone. Today's tip is going to be about putting and particularly green reading. Do you know that you spend 40% of your time in and around the green so you better know what you're doing. So here I'm at the ninth green here at Sharon Heights and we're going to talk about how to read the putt. So this is particularly challenging because it's got a lot of slope to it. But as Sharon Heights members, you should know the key to the lay of the land here. Everything from the golf club basically slopes away down towards almost the sixth green. There's a lot of greens there that will just tilt like this away from the golf club, okay? So if you're playing the ninth, when you've got an uphill putt like this, you will definitely be uphill. Remember, there's a couple of things you've got to remember when you're reading greens. Is it uphill or downhill to go left to right or right to left? That's all you have to read. Then you've got to figure out exactly how far the break is. So if you come around here, I'm going to put, I've got this putt right here on the, on the ninth. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark. Get right there. I'm going to mark the uh, go behind the ball. I'm going to mark the part of the green where the, the putt breaks to the hole. So I know it's uphill, and I'm going to mark this part here. Okay. So if we're putting this putt here, I've got that marker. What's that? About two feet to the left. And just a little short so that in, in theory is my straight line putt now so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to take a couple of practice swings okay so that's a perfect example there i'm not sure if my stellar camera person got this but that actually went right over my mark there and it ended up about a foot or so to the left. That's what we call missing on the high side. And I want you amateurs to, or club people, to know that's a better way to miss putt. So if you read a putt that's left to right, give it more than you think. Again, from stats, people that don't play golf with their living will underread putts tremendously. So if you see a putt that's breaking a cup to the left, give it two cups to the left, okay? You get the idea, just get into the habit of over reading. Another little quick tip before we go, when you're reading these putts, always read it from the low side. So we know the green slopes this way, read the putt, read the putt from the low side of the putt, go from ball to hole, and then read it hole, ball to hole again from this side, okay? So low side and then look from behind to the hole. Don't get any more complicated than that and trust your read. And then when you've got like three or, uh, really long putts, like 30 feet or 40 feet or more, Focus on the last five feet of the hole. That's when the putt's traveling its slowest and that's when it'll take the most break. The bottom line, folks, give yourself more break than you think and trust it, okay? Keep really still when you're putting. This wasn't a tip on putting mechanics. It's more about how to read the greens, okay? And know the lay of the land. This will help your strokes and get you scoring the best you can. Top of the morning to you. Today we are going to learn how to read greens and you better have that in your toolbox if you're a member at Sharon Heights because these greens are hard. Okay, so basically you've got to ask yourself, is the putt uphill or downhill? Is it left to right or right to left? If you get the chance, remember, don't want to be slow players out there, read from the low point of the green and then from behind the ball to the hole. This gives you your best vantage point to see what the lay of the land is doing. And remember, it's always a good idea to survey your putt while your playing partners are playing. Be ready to putt when it's your turn. And focus on the last part of the putt when it's a really long putt. <clears throat> Did you know that the hole is only four and a quarter inches big? That's not long, or that's not big. So just imagine that you've got a hole, putting to a hole that's actually three feet big. If you do this, you're gonna lag putt way better and I think you might hole a few more too. Let's try and score better with better putting.